Hey, what's up, everyone? Um, this is how to uh, hook up, check, and adjust timing on a 1990 Toyota pickup. Uh, I got my timing light. You'll need a jumper wire and a timing light, and that's about it. Um, thing to note is if you, if your uh, hood has this label, you can get a lot of good information on like what your idle should be. Uh, it should be adjusted to uh, five degrees before top dead center, so that's just like the number five on the pulley. Um, you can look at that stuff right here. And it has the a picture of the spot where you jump the connector. Uh, I'll, I'll also attach pictures at the end of the video about um, um, just like where the connector gets connected and a picture of the pulley and the timing marks. So all you need is this uh, timing light and a jumper cable. You're going to jumper um, <clears throat> just two spots on this box. And like I said, I'll attach a, um, a picture at the end of the video as well, a bigger picture. So you can look at that. But I believe it's T1 and E1. <clears throat> you can look on um, this inside of the box. There's a sticker you could look. And uh, let me get my wire. I'll show you where it goes. It goes right here. I know it's hard to see. And uh, right here. And uh, this is where on that picture on the hood label. It's, it's meaning it's, it's trying to say like, you know, put a wire between here. You can put a wire. You can do a paper clip. You know, whatever you got. Uh, don't worry about all the grease in there. That's it's supposed to be like that. That's to protect it from rusting. Uh, yes, and you're gonna put your um, your little uh, clamp on cylinder one. Uh, a lot of these plug wires will have numbers on them, and just go to number one. If your plug wires don't have the number on them, it's the first wire. It's the first cylinder closest to you. So go ahead and get on that spark plug wire, and uh, your timing. Indicator is going to be down here. Uh, it's tough to see, sorry, but it's down there. And uh, when you're looking at it with a timing light, you'll basically see like a little white mark lining up with the numbers. I think it's like five through one. And uh, with it jumped and running, you want it to uh, be at the number five if you have like a regular timing light. And don't worry, your check engine light's going to flash while you have it running with it jumped. That's normal. That's just saying it's in like a check mode. It might run a little rough, it's okay. It's in base timing. Um, <clears throat> if you want to adjust it, loosen this nut, I believe it's a 12 meter, it's the nut behind the oil dipstick. You probably want to pull that out and you'll move the distributor up like that, move it up and down and then just, you know, while you're doing that, watch with your timing light and see where that mark's going and you want it to be at five. Uh, if, you, if you're if you seeing it close to five, a little before, a little after, just as close as possible to five, you'll be all right. You don't have to get it like dead on, don't trip on that. And uh, that's pretty much it. This is how to check and adjust timing on this engine. This is a 22R.